Hi, I'm Johnny from ultimatepapermache.com and I don't have a project for you today. I haven't had one for a long time, in fact, because I have been so busy. I, I started a new project that was something totally different for me and I had so much fun with it. My project is a book. Um, I know that you're familiar with the books I've already written about paper mache, but this one is totally different. This is a novel, a cozy mystery, and the title is The Owl Thief. The main character is a paper mache artist, just because I thought that would be really fun. But she doesn't get to do any paper mache in the novel because somebody framed her for murder, so she's a little busy kind of getting herself out of hot water. I'm, if you have any interest at all in cozy mysteries, uh, mysteries with animals, um, mysteries with amateur sleuths, <laughs> any of those, um, please go over to Amazon.com and, and check it out. It's just got published yesterday, so there aren't even any reviews out yet, but you can click on the big cover on the Amazon page and read a couple of pages inside of there uh, to see if you would like it or not. Um, just had to let you know about that. But there's another thing I want to let you know, and that is that in the last couple of months, since I've been so busy doing that, uh, I asked some people to fill in for me out on the blog, and they have done a beautiful job. I've got some guest posts out there that I really hope you haven't missed. If you've just been watching me on my YouTube channel, you're really missing out on some things. The latest one was by Suzanne. She made a full horse head trophy mount. She shows you exactly how she did it out of uh, cardboard and styrofoam and paper mache and you want to make sure that you get all the way down to the end of that post because she also shows you an amazingly effective way to reproduce the shape so that she could have a second one without having to use any kind of mold or um, anything else. Use cloth cloth mache. Um, that's what Dan Reeder uses a lot on the outside of his dinosaurs and his, and his monsters. Uh, she used it for a totally different purpose and it's amazing that it worked. I've got to try that. It's just incredible. Um, Irma showed us how she made a paper mache dinosaur for her son. Again, she shows you all the details of how she did it. It really came out cute. Now, Brian made a classic uh, Dodge Caravan out of paper mache, so I know that if you have any boys in the family, that's probably something that they're really going to want to take a look at. Um, Kirk made a holiday centerpiece with paper mache acorns. Uh, they're a little oversized, a uh, really interesting way that he painted them and colored them up and created the actual shapes. Uh, very nicely done. Uh, he used it for his Thanksgiving centerpiece, but they would work on any uh, fall or winter uh, holiday table. It was really nice. Uh, Betsy made some amazingly realistic theater props. You gotta see those. It, it, she made turkeys, one of them uh, is half eaten, I think, by a dog or something um, on purpose, and they're so realistic. You, you just got to see them. You go check them out. Um, Mr. Dollar, I don't have his exact name. Uh, he wants to be called Mr. Dollar. He made a paper mache monster for dispensing Halloween candy. <laughs> it was, it's amazing, and he shows you again how he did it. Um, you just throw it, it'll blow you away. You have to go check it out. Um, Corey and his middle school kids made a full sized, actual size paper mache terracotta warrior, the ones from China. Um, Corey has several other guest posts out on my blog too. He uh, is a teacher in middle school, he likes to, to tie the artwork in with uh, history uh, and cultural um, studies. They do amazing work, so you really have to check that out and also do a uh, a search for his name so that you can see the other guest posts that he's put out over the last couple of years. Um, Rex is another one who has uh, two different guest posts. This latest one is uh, paper mache pumpkins. He made a whole bunch of them. <laughs> a lot of different shapes, a lot of different colors. They all turned out really nice. And his previous uh, guest post was a bank, uh, a piggy bank, that he made out of a little sculpture of a calf. Uh, really cute. So check both of those out. And um, the last one I'm going to tell you about is a, um, a wall sculpture that Basil made for us. It's a, a very large wall sculpture of a 
family of humpback whales. Um, really, really nicely done. And again, he tells you exactly how it was done. So if you haven't been coming out to ultimatepapermache.com lately because I haven't been putting any videos out, be sure to go over there and check them out because I don't want you to miss out on them. And if you have any time at all, I hope you'll also go out and see my new novel. Uh, it's in Kindle now. It'll be on paperback in a couple of days. It's on Amazon.com now. Here's the link. Uh, go check it out. And come to visit me, ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.